Imagine waking up in 2026, stepping into your Tesla, and realizing it's no longer the most advanced car on the market. While some newly released models boast the revolutionary AI5, the most powerful hardware Tesla has ever produced, your vehicle still operates on technology that suddenly feels outdated. This is the reality many Tesla owners could face in the coming years. Tesla has always been synonymous with innovation, but the question on everyone's mind is, will the company offer free upgrades to AI5? Unfortunately, the answer isn't as simple as we'd like it to be. Let's dive deep into this topic and uncover what's really behind AI5 and Tesla's upgrade policies. To start, it's crucial to understand where we stand today. Most Teslas on the road are currently equipped with hardware 3, HW3, which was launched in 2019 and marked a significant leap in processing power and self-driving performance. In January 2023, Tesla began installing hardware 4, HW4, in some of its models, bringing improvements such as greater processing power and high-resolution cameras. However, the company has made it clear that it won't offer free upgrades from HW3 to HW4, citing substantial differences in the size of the MCU media control unit, and the electrical wiring needed for installation. This decision has left many owners frustrated, especially those who invested heavily in the full self-driving FSD package, expecting their cars to be upgraded as technology advanced. Now, with Elon Musk's announcement of AI5 Hardware 5 during Tesla's annual meeting in June 2024, the discussion around free upgrades has reignited. AI5 promises to be a game changer, with processing capacity approximately 10 times that of HW4 and power consumption potentially reaching 800 watts, compared to the 300 watts of HW3 and HW4. These impressive figures suggest that AI5 will be crucial for the next steps toward fully autonomous driving. But here's the issue. Tesla has given no indication that it will offer free upgrades to AI5. In fact, the company's recent history suggests this is highly unlikely. Let's examine Tesla's upgrade history to better understand this situation. When HW3 was launched, the company promised free upgrades for owners who had purchased the FSD package in cars equipped with HW2 or HW2.5. However, this policy was implemented inconsistently, with some customers reporting long delays and difficulties in getting the upgrade. Furthermore, Tesla has made it clear that there will be no upgrades from HW3 to HW4, which has already caused discontent among owners. Given this precedent, it's hard to believe the company will change its approach with AI5. The reality is that large-scale hardware upgrades are expensive and complex, involving not only the cost of components, but also the logistics of installation and the need to redesign parts of the vehicle to accommodate the new hardware. What does this mean for Tesla owners? If your car is equipped with HW3 or HW4, it's likely not compatible with AI5 without significant modifications. This could limit your ability to enjoy the latest self-driving features and other innovations that rely on AI5's processing power. For some, this may not be a major issue, especially if you don't use FSD frequently. However, for those who invested in the FSD package with the expectation that their cars would be upgraded over time, this could be a major disappointment. And what about the cost of an AI5 upgrade if Tesla decides to offer it as a paid option? We don't have concrete information yet, but it's safe to assume it won't be cheap. Given the significant increase in processing power and energy consumption, the price could easily reach several thousand dollars. For many owners, this might not be financially feasible, especially if the upgrade isn't essential for everyday use. Additionally, there's the issue of resale value. Cars equipped with older hardware may lose value as technology advances, which could be a concern for those planning to sell their Teslas in the future. Another point to consider is the impact of these upgrade policies on Tesla's reputation. The company has built its brand on innovation and the promise of a future filled with autonomous mobility. However, the lack of free upgrades to newer hardware could alienate some of its most loyal customers. After all, who wants to invest in a high-performance car if it could become obsolete within a few years? This is a question Tesla will need to address carefully, especially as competition in the electric and autonomous vehicle market continues to grow. Meanwhile, brands like Rivian, 
Lucid Motors, and even traditional manufacturers such as BMW and Mercedes-Benz are heavily investing in their own self-driving technologies and advanced hardware. These companies might view Tesla's upgrade policy as an opportunity to attract dissatisfied customers by offering more flexible and transparent solutions. For instance, Rivian has already announced plans to offer hardware upgrades as part of its subscription program, which could be an appealing differentiator for consumers. Ultimately, deciding whether to buy a Tesla or any other electric car requires considering not only what the vehicle offers today, but also how it can evolve in the future. If you're thinking about purchasing a Tesla, it's essential to be aware of potential limitations in terms of hardware upgrades and how they could affect your long-term experience. On the other hand, if you're already a Tesla owner, keeping up with the software updates the company continues to roll out is vital, as they can deliver significant improvements even without new hardware. Tesla will undoubtedly continue to lead the way in innovation, but the issue of free upgrades for AI5 is a reminder that technology moves quickly, and keeping up isn't always easy. As we await more information about AI5 and Tesla's upgrade policies, one thing is clear. The future of electric and autonomous mobility is full of exciting possibilities, but also challenges we'll need to navigate together. What do you think about Tesla's upgrade policy? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more analyses like this one. See you next time.